Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Before, as per usual, I get into this video, I have to thank you guys. Do you guys comprehend what is going on right now? Let me just give you a quick overview of what has went down in my last 24 hours. So, we just hit 800 subs. We were at 300 about four days ago. 800 subs. We have about 1,000 likes in the last five videos. Like, my video yesterday has 140 likes. We have over a thousand views per video posted since the blow up. Like this is, go look at a bigger YouTuber than me with a few K subs. They don't even get a thousand views per video and it's expected at this point. Like every video I post is a thousand. This is unreal, unreal. So if you guys are watching this, go sub. There are 200 spots left in the before 1000 squad. We're going to hit 1000 by tonight or by tomorrow night. You guys decide that one, but either way we're hitting it. We're gonna be get we're gonna we're, we're getting up there boys we actually just got a sponsorship offer from another madden coin place so sadly i'm leaving coin bank but you know this is for my own growth and progression we just joined we i got hit up so last night it was pretty crazy so around like 12 midnight i got hit up by instant madden coins which is a pretty big one they sponsored the actual cc they sponsored throne it's down a few good a few big guys and they hit me up and they're like we want you to sign with us and i was like wait me i'm gonna and then mark the 619 just hit me up if you guys ever heard of him he told me get that good, you know, on the grind, like, good for you, man. KO Spivey hit me up. Like, it is unreal right now what is going on. I'm getting hit up from left and right about people. People are all taking notice. No one's sleeping on Poodle no more. So, it is what it is, guys. Gonna get into this video. So, before I keep going, I keep, you know, mumbling on. My girlfriend will be in a video either today or tomorrow. She is working right now. So, I apologize for that. She is at work till about 5 o'clock. So, one of these days, I did promise that. You guys hit the like goal. Thank you for that. So she will be in a video. So you guys will see Miss Poodle. If that's what you guys want to see. And no, she does not look like an actual poodle as a lot of people seem to have thought and like the guy's comment. No, she is not a dog. She's an actual girl. So you guys will be seeing her. Now, get into this video. I'll give you guys another like goal before we start to get there. To, um, like goal. Get me to another 100 likes. And if you guys get this video to 100 likes, I don't know what I'll do. But I'll do something. I'm sorry. I don't get a like goal. I am going to California next week. So I'll give you guys some California footage if that's what you want. If, I get to, if you guys get this to 100 likes. Now, today's video. The market continues to die. I hope you guys are following everything I'm saying. This is unreal. This market is dead right now. Look at this. What would my number one advice? Sell Vic at 900k. Sell him. He is 627k. He is going down. This card is going to be... 450k by this weekend 450 450k by saturday after this packs drop vic is done i'm so happy that i had the willpower and the patience not to succumb and fall to the vic curse every year where i have to, I, literally every year i have a million coins i spend it all on vic i'm happy i didn't do that and so all you guys say my coins aren't going up yeah you're right that's because i have college a girlfriend the gym eating a family school and my free time that I have, I spend all making videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys appreciate that, that I'm making. I like, I don't need the coins anymore. You know what? I have the team. I am up there. I'd rather spend my free time sharing the tips with you guys rather than spending my three hours just making, do my own tips. Like, obviously I could do my own coin methods and make coins, but that takes hours to do. And I'd rather just share it with you guys, help you guys out. You guys need it more than me right now. So that's the point. So I hope you guys followed. I'm happy. I will be getting Vic for 450k this Saturday. And I will be getting Lawrence Taylor. And that will be perfect because at one point I wasn't going to be able to afford both of them or either one of them. He is going to probably be 520k come Saturday. And Vic's going to be 450. I'm so excited for that. These cards are dropping. Even these limited time cards are dropping. Let's see where the 98 Saquon's at. The 98 Saquon is at 990k. He's not really dropping too much. There's Le'Veon Bell's at 527. Wow, Todd Gurley's at 419. These, these prices were unheard of a month ago. Now, let's go to the Ultimate Legends. To see, because the Ultimate Legends, I feel like, determine the market. As Vic does too, obviously. But the Ultimate Legends are a big determin determinant of the market and where it's heading. Because the Ultimate Legends are the best cards in the game, per se, on Chem. So, 220. I told you guys, sell, sell, sell. I hope you guys listen to me. I said, sell at 280. They're going to come down. And this Saturday, and I quote, they will be below 180. 190, 180-ish, or below. Quote. Quote me on that. If I'm wrong, I'll give a random comment to 20k. If I'm wrong. If none of these cards hit 180, I will give a random comment to 20k. Just comment down below. Just comment down below 20k. Comment down below 20k question mark. And I'll give one of you guys 20k if these cards don't hit below 180. So everyone go blow up the comments with that. Now, let's see. 
These are crazy. It's crazy. These are dead. Dead. Actually dead, this market. I hope you guys are ready for this weekend. You're going to be getting a lot of good players for really cheap. Really, really cheap. It's unreal. I cannot believe this. I cannot wait to get this Vic. Hope all you guys have saved up all your, your nickels and your quarters for this Vic. 614 is going down more. I should buy No, I'm not buying him today. I just said I'm going to be patient. I hope you guys have saved up for this Vic. It's going to be big. This Vic's is the best quarterback for the rest of the year. He's a little overrated in Madden, not going to lie. But he's still the best quarterback stat-wise. Him and Lawrence Taylor are going to be a nice, um, nice tandem. And then I'll get back into Weekend League to try them all out. Let's see what else is taking effect. The 94 to 95s are always a good look because people don't have as many coins as this, obviously. They're at 117. See, it's hard to move at a 94 because 94s are kind of held up by training a little bit. Not to mention, they're not, it's hard to go below 100k in 94s. No one cares about that. There's no, there's no demand on the 94s, really. A lot of supply, not a lot of demand. So the price kind of just sits. Like, it's like, there's a demand because the sets... And then there's like not a demand because they're not really that usable. So like they kind of like and training. So the, the training demand and the sets hold them here. And then their actual uselessness of the cards hold them here. And they meet somewhere here, which is about 115k, 117k. So they're not gonna move too much. This weekend, I do believe they'll probably go to like 95k. That is the time to buy them and then resell them the following week, the following Wednesday. Like I said, the best day to buy is Saturday, the best day to sell is Wednesday. Wednesday is the middle of the week. Wednesday is like the middle of the Sahara Desert. Like it is dry as hell. See, the cards are going down already. People are anticipating the Saturday death. People are anticipating it. So Wednesday's the day we're like, okay, I got three more days. You know, I'm not going to sell my Vic. I want to use it. I'll sell them Friday. Now here we are Friday. The market's dead. That's what I'm saying. People anticipate. People are impatient. They sell the day before or the day of or maybe two days before. Wednesday is the perfect median. It's like three days after Saturday. So you feel like it's dead. No one's doing anything. But it's also three days before the next Saturday. So like. It's the hump day. That's the day you want to do all your market work. You want to sell on Wednesdays, buy on Saturdays. Been my ideology since Madden 13. Literally since Madden 13. That's been my ideology. The weekends, even if there wasn't packs, would still be the best weekend because the best days because people are off of school. More people are off of work. People have less hours. Let's say whatever. That's when people are on Madden the most. So let's go a little bit lower. A little bit lower so I can explain these two because I know people are always getting at me that I got I to gotta give the little guys some love. So that's what I'm going to do. These cards aren't going to move much out. There's not much room to go down. You know what I'm saying? It's really hard to go down from here. A 27K for a 90 overall is really, really cheap. Now, ooh, this is go down to probably, you might get these for like 18K at the at the height. When people open a thousand packs and they're all getting spammed on the block. At the height, you might get it for like 18K. And then you can probably resell for, 20, uh, for 28K, 30K the following Wednesday. So that's still a good one to do. So now I prefer to buy in bulk, right? So are you going to buy one of these for 18K and sell for 10K? Maybe. I'd rather buy 15 of them and sell them back for 10k. That's 150k. Buying in bulk is the key, is the key to prop to, to profit in this game. You gotta buy in bulk. So like, if you if you had two million coins, I would buy five Vix for 450k and then resell for 550 that Wednesday. That's what I would do. It's 100k each. Or or too much money, right? So how about this? I would buy five of these for 180k and then resell these for about 240 that following Wednesday and get yourself a nice. What would you call that? 250, 270, 180, 20, 50, that's 50K times five. About 250 to 300K with reduction and all. Not bad. Sorry if that weird, that math was really weird. That's just how I do my math. I like, I add it up out loud. It's weird. Anyways, that's about it for this video, guys. I don't want to drag it out any longer than it has to be, but I hope you guys got the understanding. So, I'm going to be making three videos for you guys today. I got the meth the market crash, explaining it before tomorrow. I got a, a good coin method for you guys that has been probably known, but I'm going to explain it in poodle terms. Got you guys with the poodle terms, and it's still very usable. And then the third video, I haven't decided yet. We'll figure that one out as the time comes. We still have a few hours for that. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, there's a like goal. Get me above 100 likes on this video, and I'll give you guys some California footage maybe or whatever you guys want. Comment some things down below that you guys want to see. Also, comment down below 20K. If you guys comment down below 20K, if, if these cards don't go below 180 at one point on Saturday, I will give a random player to a, a random comment to 20k. And if they really just stay above 200k, I'll give you 30k. But that's it. Comment down 20k. Get us above 100 likes. Make sure to drop the sub. We hopefully hit a thousand by tonight. And if we don't, a thousand by Saturday night. That should be it, right? Yeah. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys later.